top 5 wealthiest women on earth. Welcome back to Luxury Max Feature Billionaires. You will be surprised at what a woman can do. She can wear many hats, but you can assure that she will do her very best for every role that she's in. She can be a stay-at-home mom, a diligent office staff, a brave advocate for rights, and she can also be top of the richest persons in the world. And in this video, that's exactly what we will be showing you. Get ready, future billionaires! These ladies will astound you! Here are the top 5 wealthiest women on earth. Who do you think is ranked top 5? She is number 5 among the women but she was placed 24th on Forbes 400 in 2021 and she is ranked 50 among Forbes top billionaires in 2022. She is no other than Miriam Adelson who has a net worth of $28.3 billion. Her late husband is Sheldon Adelson. He is the former CEO and chairman of the famous casino company in Las Vegas Sands. He passed away in January 2021 when he was 87 years old. Miriam Adelson now owns more than half of the $48 million in market cap of her gambling empire, which has luxurious casinos in Las Vegas, Singapore, and Macau. This amazing woman was born in Israel and studied to become a medical doctor that focuses on addiction. She and her husband founded the Sheldon G. Adelson Research Clinic in Las Vegas. This clinic helps treat people with addiction, especially someone who has opioid use disorder. Miriam and Sheldon are also considered GOP mega donors who donated $180 million to Republican campaigns and political action committees in 2020. Miriam was also awarded a Presidential Medal of Freedom by Trump in 2018. You might think that Miriam got this successful because of her husband. But keep in mind that she was the one who had the bright idea for the Venetian Casino. Apart from the casino, she also inherited several newspaper companies such as the Israel Hayam and Las Vegas Review Journal newspaper. The top 4 on our list is Mackenzie Scott, who has a net worth of $45.5 billion. She is the ex-wife of Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. In less than two years, she has given away an extraordinary $12.5 billion to over 1,250 organizations. But despite her prodigious donations, she still remains to be the fourth richest woman in the world. As part of their divorce settlement, Jeff Bezos transferred a quarter of his Amazon holdings that is worth $19.7 million in shares. She was not only the ex-wife of Jeff Bezos, but was an integral part of Amazon's foundations. She was the one who brainstormed ideas for the company's name, worked as an accountant, and even helped in shipping. Now she is a best-selling author. She published her first novel, The Testing of Luther Albright, in 2005, for which she received an American Book Award in 2006. According to Scott, it took her 10 years to write as she was helping Bezos develop Amazon while also giving birth to and raising three children. The top three on our list is Julia Koch, whose net worth is $62.7 billion. Her husband, David Koch, passed away in 2019, and she was able to inherit an estimate of $53.5 billion. She is now known as an American socialite, billionaire, philanthropist, and one of the richest women in the world. Coke Industries is a private company that has an annual revenue topping $110 billion. He also left behind at least $143 million of real estate in New York City, the Hamptons, Aspen, and Florida. Miss Julia is an Iowa native who graduated from the University of Central Arkansas. She moved to New York in the 1980s and worked as an assistant to designer Adolfo. She used to help style and dress former First Lady Nancy Reagan in 1991. How did the two meet? Friends set up Julia and David on a blind date. Their first date did not go well but they ran into each other again after 6 months. 
Woods. They dated for five years before she married him in 1996. Julia Cook is beloved amongst New York society for her style and generosity in the U.S. state. She has been known to donate large amounts of money to arts organizations. She is also the president of David H. Cook Foundation, which has donated more than $200 million to sectors such as science and medical research, education, and arts. She also served as one of the board of directors for the School of America Ballet. Ranked second on our list of the top richest women in the world is Alice Walton. She has a staggering net worth of $70.7 billion. She was placed 18 on Forbes Billionaires list in 2022 and 12 on Forbes 400 list in 2021. Alice Lewis Walton is an American heiress to the fortune of Walmart. In September 2016, she owned over $11 billion in Walmart shares. She is the only daughter of Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. Unlike her siblings Rob and Jim, she is more focused on creating art rather than working for Walmart. She opened the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in her hometown, Bennonville, Arkansas in 2011. This amazing museum features the works of artists such as Andy Warhol, Norman Rockwell, and Mark Rothko. She began collecting art when she was just 11 years old. Her first art piece is a 25 cent print of Picasso's Blue Nude. In January 2020, she advocated for America's broken healthcare system and revealed plans to open a holistic health institute in Bennonville. She also runs the Walton Family Foundation, which supports education, economic development in Mississippi and Arkansas, and environment conservation in these areas. And finally, the woman we have all been waiting for. The richest woman in the world is Francois Betancourt Mayers, with a truly astonishing net worth of $71.8 billion. Francois is a French businesswoman, philanthropist, writer, pianist, and billionaire heiress. Truly a woman with many hats. She is ranked as 14th in Forbes Billionaires this 2022. She is the only child of Lillian Bencourt and the only granddaughter of Eugene Schwaler, who is the founder of L'Oreal Paris. Her mother passed away in 2017. Her fortune tripled because of her investments through Tethys Invest, her family's holding company, and the high valuation of L'Oreal shares on the stock exchange. Did you know that there was a sensational trial in France for Mayer's inheritance? And a man was proven guilty due to manipulation of her ailing mother, Liliane Henriette Charlotte Betancourt's fortune? Lilian was a French heiress, socialite, and businesswoman. She was one of the principal shareholders of L'Oreal. At the time of her death, she was the richest woman and the 14th richest person in the world with a net worth of $44.3 billion. She is married to André Bencourt and their only child is Francois. Francois lived in a posh suburban area in France and was famous because her father is a well-known politician and her mother is a shareholder in a multi-billion company. After they passed away, Francois was the only heiress to immense fortunes and estates. Aside from serving on the board of the world's largest cosmetics company, Francois is also the president of the Betancourt Schwaler Foundation, which promotes scientific and artistic advancement. The assets of this foundation exceed $700 million. Francois and her family own around 33% of L'Oreal stocks. She is the chairwoman of the family holding company and has served on L'Oreal's board since 1997. In 2017, she became the reigning L'Oreal heiress in France when her mother, who was the world's richest woman at that time, died at age 94. Because of the hard work of the mother-daughter tandem, L'Oreal is 110 years old but has grown into a famous household name. It is also considered the biggest cosmetic company in the world. The company boasts an impressive portfolio with a long list of beloved brands such as Garnier, Maybelline, Lancome, and NYX Cosmetics. 
In L'Oreal's annual results, it has been revealed that their sales revenues are a staggering 32.28 billion euros or 35.5 billion dollars. As the president of the Ben Schwaler Foundation, she teamed with L'Oreal to donate 226 million dollars to repair the Notre Dame Cathedral following the fire that broke out in 2019. Francois is also a well-known writer. She wrote a book that tackles Greek mythology and also a commentary on the Bible. Here, topics are mostly spiritual in nature. As the world's largest beauty manufacturer, L'Oreal owns more than 35 cosmetic skincare and personal care brands such as Giorgio Armani Beauty, CeraVe, and La Roche-Posay to name a few. The L'Oreal group of companies, which employs 85,000 people worldwide, generated more than $32 billion in 2020 and $35 billion in revenue in 2021. Today, we have witnessed the wonders a woman can do. Future billionaires, let this be a reminder that no matter what society tells you, you can find success with determination. Keep tuning in our channel, Luxury Max, to find out more about the latest reward trends of this super rich, where we will be creating quality content videos for you to enjoy. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to comment down on what we should make a video about next. Thank you for listening and we'll see you guys in the next video.